But it sounds cool. Um, I'm such a nerd. Happy Friday! It's free for all Friday, didn't you know? Hey guys, I hope you're having a great, great day. Uh, it's once again beautiful. I don't know what the deal is with Friday lately. But Fridays have been particularly beautiful, which is kind of taunting if you have to go to work um, and be in an office all day or something like that or indoors, right? Um, so I'm sitting actually in my office and I open the window and the breeze is so nice. There's a porch outside. Um, it's really nice. It, it, I don't really want to sit at the computer and do work, but I will. Because I'm a good employee, right? <laughs> so today, guys, it's Free For All Friday, which means that we can talk about whatever we want to talk about, right? Um, we had a great week. Uh, Wednesday was so fun with the rowing and everything, and you guys were so fun uh, commenting and everything like that. And I hope you're going to try a new workout, maybe this weekend. Maybe it's even just going outside or trying a new park or a hike or a walk or something like that. Um, but today, I wanted to talk about something uh, that I think can help you in your journey, no matter where you are, if you're trying to lose weight or just uh, live a healthy life, or really any area of your life. And you know, you're gonna hear me say that. I mean, yeah, you've heard me say it a million times. You're gonna hear me say it over and over again. All of this stuff is all connected. It's not just about losing weight. It's not just about uh, living a healthy lifestyle. It's about being healthy and living life to the full. And it influences your relationships. It influences your job. It influences your school. It influences, uh, you know, Everything that you can imagine, everything you can imagine, all of these things that we talk about are applicable to everything in life, right? So today I want to talk about something um, that I love very much and that I actually wish I was better at it, but I've done okay, which is journaling, writing down uh, what you're going through in life, right? Um, so like I'm a big collector of journals. I like the Moleskine, Moleskin, I don't even know how you say it, but either way is fine apparently. Um, I, it, I always go look at the journal section when you go into like the bookstore or, or stores that have journals. Um, uh, I usually have a bunch that I'm ready to start. <laughs> and usually they go pretty well for a while and there's a big gap and then you come back to it and blah, blah, blah. I'm sure lots of people can relate to that. But then there's probably some of you guys that are just like faithful as it can be. And you maybe started when you were young and you have every day up until that point. If you're that person, get a star today. But I do want to talk about, particularly in my weight loss journey, that, that it was particularly powerful one of the things that was pretty awesome about it was because Olivia was away, I wanted to kind of write some things down just as I was chronicling it, but also remind me of things. Because here's the thing, we really, it's really, really, really easy to forget all the things that happen when you're going through a really intense season in your life. It's just easy, and afterwards you kind of gloss over and you don't remember, and having some stuff written down is really a great way to go back and just remind yourself of the good times, of the bad times, of the milestones, of just the ordinariness in between, all of these things. They can really encourage you. Um, Olivia was just talking about when we, uh, she went and spoke to a group uh, this week and she was telling them, you know, she had in her food journal, which is another form of journaling, right? She went back and she was really trying to, to really just go back to the basics. And so she went back to a week she did really well on the ranch and she ate exactly what she did. But what was awesome about that, she had written down exactly everything. So she ate exactly the same things. How cool is that? Um, so we've talked about food journaling and a lot of people, we've used MyFitnessPal, I use MyFitnessPal, which is great. But there is something about writing your feelings and what you're going through in a notebook. And it doesn't matter what kind. I mean, here, you know, I have a small ones. You know, I'm a songwriter too, so I have the cool ones with, uh, with lines so I can sketch out music. I hardly ever do that. Most songwriters hardly ever do that. But it sounds cool. Um, I'm such a nerd. Uh, and then I have, you know, a bigger mols uh, moleskin here um, that I really like. And then, you know, Old Faithful uh, Composition Notebook from, uh, you know, the grocery store. These work awesome as well, and they sort of have like a hipster chic to them as well. Plus they cost like a dollar, whereas this guy costs like, like, like 20. <laughs> so, but no expense can be spared for a cool notebook, right? Am I right? Uh, so I just wanted to read you a couple things 
that I found as I was going through these these right here. Uh, in this one right here, I started it, I was writing in it right before, this was August before Olivia went to the ranch, like October 1st. So, actually at this point, it was still a possibility that I might be on the show with her. They were looking at Hannah and Olivia as a, a couple and me and Olivia as a couple. And um, so, <laughs> we were just like, oh, we were at our biggest. It was, oh, it was so uncomfortable. It was so hot in New York. You're having to walk everywhere. Um, and I just found this little little uh, sentence that says, um, let's see right here. Uh, I'm very tired right now. I'm sure much of it has to do um, with the fact that I walked a few blocks and I'm really, and I underlined really, fat and out of shape right now. <laughs> I mean, every day, that's what I'm writing about. It was just so uncomfortable. I mean, right before this, I had gone on an international trip with Olivia's dad, and it was like this 10 and 11 hour flight, and I just remember being in coach and just, I mean, I could barely breathe. I was so big, and I just, oh, it was just so horrible and so uncomfortable and so much of that. So that was kind of interesting to read because it was real, right? I was writing it in that moment. And then I kind of just looked up, man, my journal from when Olivia was gone is packed because I had a lot more time on my hands, right? Um, but, you know, right here, let's see. This was, um, let's see. Yeah, there it is. 25 days till I see her. That's when she was coming home for, uh, for Christmas, which was the first time I was seeing her in like three months. You probably saw that. It was on TV the first time I saw her. You guys saw it if you watched the show. Uh, and um, maybe before. I didn't know exactly. But 53 pounds as of today. 53 pounds. And so what a great milestone. I can look back at that and go, oh my gosh. I mean, I was already feeling so much better. I was about halfway to where I needed to go. Um, it was just awesome. It was just awesome. And this is a milestone. This is something I have for the rest of my life, as long as I don't lose it. Um, and I hope not to. This is really important. Um, so, you know, I just want to encourage you. I, I think it's great. I mean, you can do it any way you want. Um, you know, if you like to type on the computer, that's great. I, I have, I use Evernote, which is a great thing that I keep a lot of stuff in, especially song ideas and stuff. But as far as writing a journal, this is just the, I think it's the best way. You know, I just do. I think it's better to write like that, and it's just really good. Um, you know, we talked about the prayer app last week. Even writing your prayers, you know, I'll flow in and out of like praying and just journaling and stuff like that. And then, like I said, I'm a songwriter, so I'm always writing lyrics and have lyric ideas. And I even go back through my journals to get song ideas, and I'll star things that I think are, I'm like, ooh, that was good. Um, so, but you can do it anyway. You know, I love actually, since I've started this vlog channel, that this is sort of serving as a video log vlog, right? That's where the word comes from. And uh, so it's really cool for me to experience that as well. So really anyway, I don't want to limit you and say you have to do it this way. You know I'm not about that. You have to find your own way and find what works for you. But there is something really powerful about writing things down so that you can go back to it and, and measure it. I know Olivia has this from the ranch and uh, I think it's so, so precious to her to be able to look back at that experience because you just, it's like a whirlwind. You don't forget sometimes, especially when it's a season of much change, which you can go back later and go, wow, unbelievable. And you get reinvigorated, re-inspired and re-motivated. So I want to challenge you to do that. Okay. If you're a journaler, in the comments below, tell me uh, the one thing you love about it and what's helped you keep doing it and what's the one thing you love about it. If you're not and there's something you'd like to do, um, tell me if you're going to go buy a cool notebook. Cool notebooks help it all, right? Once again, nerd. Um, but most of all, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you go do some cool workouts. I hope you have a great time with your friends and family. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Favorite it. Come see me on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And we will see you Monday for Motivation Monday. Bye, guys.